On June 2, 2023, an officer conducted a traffic stop for excessive speed. White Mercedes, New Jersey tag, I'll advise him. Hi. You know why I'm stopping you? I mean, no. You know what the speed limits are? Because I've been trying to catch up to you since Seminole Boulevard. I don't even know where... Okay. So when you're on Seminole Boulevard, before you get to the Triangle, then you go off to Madeira Beach, and then you go around, and then you made your right hand turn here. When I when I go over the bridge you're talking about? Before that. It's on Seminole Boulevard and 68th Avenue. You're doing 62 and a 45. And then you continued at a high rate of speed over the bridge, the Tom Stewart Causeway, the drawbridge there. I use my cruise control over half the time, and I if, if I, I, like... I don't even understand right now, like, if I was speeding, like, why wouldn't have you, like, if I was speeding all the way over there, which I wasn't, like, how, why wouldn't have you just pulled me over all the way back there? Because I can't drive recklessly to I put other people in officer, danger to put up with you. Can have... you please have a seat back in your vehicle for me, please? And then may I have your license, insurance, and registration, please? Um... Alright, I gotta call my dad. I'll talk to you later. No, I don't even understand. I've been, literally been home. Just stop. I need to call my dad, and then I need to call my lawyer, because this is literally ridiculous. Naka, you copy a 28. Can I have your registration and insurance, please? I'm pretty sure my registration is in the house. My dad drives his car. Okay, then have a seat back in the car so I can handle all of this. Okay, so this officer just... I'm have not, a seat in the car, please. I, I'm on our. Can you just look at our? I will, just please. Okay. I'm just trying. I've to, given. I've asked you to do that three times now because this is a traffic stop. I'm at my house. I told you to sit in the car. Sit in the car, please. I've asked you multiple I need times. I supervisor right now. Sit in the car. I'm not saying another word from you. Put your hands He's, behind your back. He's detaining me right there. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on over there? Oh, <laughs> Let go of your phone so it doesn't break. My dad's literally going to break. My dad literally is supposed to look at the Do you want to do this? will be on your citation and your arrest report. I'm in nursing school. Well, then if you would have complied, you wouldn't be in this position. Are you, are you her supervisor? I'm in nursing school. I have four months left. I've been pulled into my house. She said I was speeding all the way in something called Seminole Boulevard. I've never seen her car. She wasn't, she did not have her lights on. I've been pulled into my driveway and she pulled in my neighborhood, told me to get out of the car. That's her body camera off. I don't understand what is happening. Like, I don't understand why she had to be so aggressive. I've never had any trouble with the law. Like, what is this? Ma'am, 
ma'am. I've explained it to you multiple times. You told me I got out of the car to give you my my registration. You have a seat in the car, and you said you wouldn't because you were on your phone. No, I said I'm about to get in the officer. Your body camera. It was if it was even on the whole time. Get back in the car one second. My dad wants to say something to you. He was on speakerphone and you threw my phone on the ground and told me you were detaining me and now I'm arrested. And now you don't have anything to say. Like, I'm literally 22. Then you should obey the law. What do you mean? Just because you told me to, I, t I was getting in my, I got in my car when you told me. I got the stuff. I thought it was in the house. I got my registration and I gave it to you. I got out of the car and I handed you my registration. I explained to you multiple times. You were given multiple lawful commands and you did not comply. Pick me up at the, what, if you're arresting me for real, like, please, like. Yeah, your phone will come with you. Yes, ma'am, I am. I don't know what getting like seriously like what does arrested mean like what is my arrest what am I getting arrested for though can you obstruction tell me obstruction of what obstruction of the law I gave you multiple lawful commands you did not follow them ma'am I got in the car my dad I literally told you my dad is on speaker I'm about to get in the car and then you got out of the car and I told you to get back in the car and you wouldn't so this is why we're where we're at ma'am Literally, please, like, I'm not, like, I'm not even trying to, like, lie. Like, you literally told me to get in the car. I got in the car, and I found the registration first. If you have a, if you have a camera on your car, I opened the door, and I showed you, the, I waved it to you. And I acknowledged yeah, you. Yeah, you came over to me, and I handed you the paper. And my dad's on the phone, and he was trying to say something. Oh, wait, I'm about to get in the car. My dad wants to say something to you. You said, well, you stay in, in the car, car. No, no, until your traffic stop is complete, ma'am. What? You need to stay in your car until your traffic stop is complete. But I just pulled into my driveway this whole time, and then you turned like, your lights on, like... Yep, because like I told you, I'm not going to drive reckless like you did in order to cut people off to get up to you. I maintain visual with you. I saw you make your right-hand turn. I see you right here. You're still in the car, so I conduct my traffic stop. I'm begging you. What's happening now? Your vehicle's being searched. For what? The odor of marijuana. No, like, seriously. Like, I don't. I'm serious. Like, I'm a good Christian. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I was in the process of getting one in New York, but, like, I don't, like, I haven't, like, been... My dad has one, and he's the one who usually drives that car, so I really don't even know why you're asking. I don't even know, what is she doing? Evidence bags, like I'm so con- I'm so confused. Yeah, that was on, uh, that was in the back seat, so. Uh... Thank you, gentlemen. We're here? Ah, uh, the van's gonna come pick you up. The van, like... Are there gonna be, like, other, like, criminals in there? Potentially. Stop! Just, just, just relax. I'll play relax. It's it's just gonna, I have two months left of nursing school, and now it's gonna be on my record. I won't even, even if I can continue school, I can't even take the NCLEX. I can never even work with it. For what? Why, why wouldn't you be able to take that? Because if I have a misdemeanor or anything, they don't let me. Well, back to the matter. <laughs> you, can't be a, you can't be a medical. <laughs> I know multiple people who are yeah. in the medical field who have <laughs> felony charges. Yeah. All right. Well, it's, look, it's, look it up. I swear to God, look it up online. You won't be able to take the NCLEX, the National Board Nursing this, Exam, if you have any. Back to, back to the matter being. <laughs> look at me.
<laughs> and get yourself stirred up. Right? I am. I know, but fact of the matter being, these things generally don't go anywhere and they throw them out. Just, just relax, get through it. They'll release you in a couple hours. Oh my God. And more than likely, yep, this will go ahead. away, all right? Oh my God, I'm going to have a heart attack. Get this thing. No, you're not. Step on in. Nah, you're all right. There's plenty of room. I got, I got your back.